Yeah, I think we have time for. Uh, uh, I, listen, I'll, I'll stay as long as anybody wants to answer. Yeah, questions. I have a question because yeah. I'm excused by yeah. ignorance, but I need to understand here to this gentleman what he said here. How many? There's. Explain to me how many people are on the board now. Okay. And then tip, there's five, right? Correct. There's two owners and three. Parker, what is it currently? And then take me down what we need to do to make sure that we get this in the right place. Well, there are five people on the board. Okay. Two people work directly for Parker. They're employees of Parker. They're employed and they, they work right And do not live in Chicago. And one, one of the two doesn't live or on property. Right. The other one, who's Mr. Hammond's friend, um, He's a he's a develop he works for a developer he works for Standard Pacific Standard Pacific, Standard Pacific. Uh, and so there is a little bit of a conflict of interest there I think uh, so it's almost like a, when I watch a vote it's a one two three one two three so that makes me believe that they're working together. Um, so what are the seats are well, can you, I mean, can well, the board seats are available yeah. to be yeah. replaced Explain the seats right now. Yeah, so, exactly. so the, Mr. well, Mr. Maybe, maybe I can address that as being a little more impartial. Okay. There are actually three seats up for election, and none of the members that are on the board whose seats are up for election are running for re-election. Okay, these are we have three seats that are wide open. So the question is how the two remaining are who are going to be on there? This yeah. that's here. Well, no, there are three seats on the board that are open. No, who are remaining? Who's who remaining? Who's remaining? Who's remaining? Who's remaining? Yeah. On board, you have uh, Mr. Getz is on the board. Who is Kirk, a homeowner? Who is a homeowner? And Mr. Kirk Bone, who is a who partner, partner employee, who does not live here. Um, he remains on the board. So there's three. He's out. not on the board. So, right. three right. three so the goal is to get obviously. Three, three homeowners. Oh, right. And, Mr. Bond comes up next year. And, and again, being totally impartial here, um, part of my closing message actually about the importance of voting is that you have to get your neighbors to get out and vote. So what I would ask of each of you is to take a few minutes out of your schedule and we'll contact your neighbors on the right of your house and the left of your house and the general uh, people across the street. We'll knock on the doors. And if you don't know them, it's a great time to go meet them and uh, express them the importance of voting. If I remember, I just want to clarify this because you said the one guy, Kirk Bone, Mr. Kirk Bone, Kirk Bone, Kirk Bone uh, works for Parker. Correct. He's uh, I think in yeah. charge of the government affairs section. Yes. Yeah. Was ran for the first time in the last election, right? He's the one that went door to door. Right, right. right here. It's a gentleman, actually. Oh, you're, you're the man. <laughs> you missed, you, you left your paper, I wasn't home, but I knew you were there. <laughs> but you got elected. I did. And your guys are going to do that. You're going to go door to door. And, right? Okay. That, that's whatever they commit to. I, I don't know what they Well, no, I just say it. It's very important to do it. Yeah. Yeah, are you going to go door to door so it's worthy of our vote? Because we, you're going to have to get more than just in this room. Right? Um, you know, one of the things that I think has been asked before was that how are we going to get rid of the activity of the, the homeowners? Mm -hmm. And I think that Don has a group now, it's called the Surround for Positive um, Change. 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 Homeowners. And that, that's, you've got a following on that, is that correct? That's true. And there's some Facebook. Facebook accounts out there now. I know that you have one. I think Jim has one. And I think that through the social media that's offered today, I think more homeowners are becoming active. I don't know if you belong to next door. That's another, um, it's just within Serrano. I've been pretty upset until now. It's another platform <laughs> where people are starting to socialize. So when it happens this year or five years from now, I think change will happen eventually. I mean, I might add there is also another uh, website out there, too, if you are involved with social media. I believe it's uh, Serrano Homeowners, or SerranoHOA.org. Well, uh, um, in the interest of full disclosure, SerranoHOA.info, but that I need to be fair to these guys. Sure. I've co-opted that, and that is a campaign website. It's got all the material oh. on it. Mm -hmm. 
but it went from an advocacy website where it listed different, here's the issue, and it's a real simple, easy to follow a question, and then here's the answer. A question, and here's the answer. Here's all the documents. But I've been working closely with that group. They believe in my message, and they've said, you can take this site over for the campaign. It doesn't change the facts, but I, I want to be fair or not. But, but you don't have to belong to Facebook. No, you, you can just door. go to that website. You access no. that information. No. So it's, again, it's a way of getting information out there that has to do with, well, you know. Can uh, we get a closing down? Can we get a, just yeah. a minute or two? Well, actually, uh, we're, you know, we kind of wrap this thing up. We're kind of running out of time. <coughs>